Do you think that anybody, because the stuff you do when you talk about it, mm -hmm. biking across the country, mm -hmm. not across your town right. or your state, running that many miles, mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily require athletic talent. Like, you don't have no. to be born, okay? Mm -hmm. Do you think that anybody, that, and it's and not about when they finish. They don't need to finish second or 20th. or the, right. Do you think anybody that put their mind to it mm -hmm. and did the training and gave up everything mm -hmm. could do some of those races? Yes. You do? But... They cannot do it with my body. Got it. Explain that. If you're healthy, I've never been healthy. Like, people think that the races I did in the military broke me. I was broken way before then. Numerous health problems before I even got in the military. Really? Numerous. I'm talking about, like, you know, you're talking about, like, sickle cell. Yeah, I remember that. Twisted body from all the stress I was under as a kid. Yeah. Different, just a lot of different problems. Thyroid issue, adrenal issues, all kind of shit. That you had when you were young? Yes. Okay. And so then they got magnified as they got older. So I would go to the start line of a race, like Badwater, the 135 mile race to Death Valley. Yeah. No one knows this. But if you go back, and there's videos of me out there, Google David Goggins' first video or, or first uh, Badwater race, you will see black compression tape on my ankles. I had broken feet at the start line of a 135-mile race. How Your I feet were broken. Broken. And if you go back, you will see as I'm finishing the race, you will see this black compression tape floating behind me. I went to the start line of that race. I trained for that race with broken fucking feet. And I don't talk about a lot because what happens is, Normal people with normal minds can't understand that. So then you become a liar or this and that. But now I got to the point in my life where I'm like, you can go fuck yourself, dude. If you don't believe it, go ahead. But I don't talk about a lot because I, I know what I've done and I know what the mind can do and where it can take you. I've experienced it over and over. And my mom has seen it. Over and over and over again to the point where it's almost like I can't even believe sometimes, but I'm willing to go there. I'm willing to push myself to that limit and see what happens. But you think health people that don't have any health problems, mm -hmm. you think that they could go yes. do these deals? I think, yes, 100%. Really? 100%. Because the majority of people think there's no way they could ever do it. And that's the reason why they can't do it. There you go. That's the only reason they have already put their cap on their success in life. And that's why most people aren't sitting where you're sitting or sitting where I'm sitting. You never capped yourself. You might have, and if you did, you took it off. 100%. People cap themselves. They look at somebody and because their mind can't imagine it, they then start talking shit. This, he has to be doing this or he has to be doing that. There has to be some trick. There has to be some potion. This is bullshit. No, it's because you cannot allow your mind to open up for the possibility of it can be done, which is why you, you being people, yeah. are where they are today. Because yeah. you have not, you shackled your mind to have limits. And everybody has a limit, mm -hmm. but find it first. You got a limit? I haven't found it yet. I don't think you have. I haven't found it yet.